Welcome to the Ultimate Unreal Engine Shooter Course. This is the most comprehensive Unreal Engine C++ tutorial series on the internet. In no other course will you cover such a wide variety of Unreal Engine development topics. You'll learn every aspect of gameplay development and you'll develop a fully functional shooter game with a huge body of features. The topics covered in this course include character creation and movement, controllers and input, animation blueprints, extensive coverage of animation blueprints features, 1D and 2D blend spaces, and animation features such as strafing, turn in place, aim offsets, inverse kinematics to fix hand placement for different weapon types, animation curves to drive data for gameplay, character lean when running, crouching and dynamic capsule resizing, weapon fire recoil, and much more. You'll cover weapon fire with blast and impact particles, beam particles, sound effects, and shell eject particles. We'll cover how to blend animations per bone by Boolean and Enum data types so you can play one animation such as running or crouching while simultaneously playing other animations with other parts of the body such as reloading, firing, and aiming. We'll learn how to attach and equip different weapon types, such as pistols, SMGs, and assault rifles, and we'll cover both automatic and semi-auto gunfire. We'll learn how to use the different bones on the skeletal mesh of guns to move and remove different parts, such as the gun clip, or moving the slide on a pistol while firing. We'll cover aiming mechanics and zooming in on the camera while aiming. We'll cover dynamic crosshairs, which have spread affected by character speed, jumping, aiming, firing, and will have different crosshairs per weapon. We'll cover dynamic widgets that pop up to show item types, rarities, and item counts such as ammo amounts, as well as item names. We'll cover dynamic widget animations. We'll implement a full inventory system so we can store multiple weapons, swap weapons, and show item rarity with different background colors in the inventory, as well as a different glow effect for items in the world. We'll cover data tables so we can store tables of values and use those in code to efficiently set a number of variables based on item categories. We'll cover how to access data table variables in C++ and set variables on our classes in the C++ version of the construction script. We'll cover item movement by the use of curves and interpolation to get these amazing item movement effects when picking up and equipping items. We'll cover material creation from scratch to get outline and glow effects using post-process materials, the custom depth channel, and we'll control pulse and glow parameters with the use of curves, and we'll create material instances and instance parameters driven by C++ data. We'll cover retargeting animations, using animations from different skeletons, and retargeting entire animation blueprints so we can take all of our work that we've done for one character and apply it to a completely different skeletal mesh. We'll cover ammo count widgets, robust algorithms that can be stress tested when picking up huge numbers of item pickups, both health and ammo, weapon firing, and reload in different combat states. We'll create and use various animation montages and we'll use lots of different data structures, including structs, enums, arrays, and maps. This course comes with tons of assets that I provide you with, such as sounds, meshes, textures, and particle effects, and I show you where you can find countless other free assets on the internet and the Epic Games Marketplace. We'll cover class communication with interfaces and delegates. We'll implement dynamic footsteps with different sounds and particle systems per ground surface using physical materials and surface types. We'll use Niagara particle systems for footsteps and cover footstep sync markers and sync groups, as well as create our own custom anim notify classes. We'll learn how to turn hips while running to make movements smooth and robust during gameplay. We'll create enemies with AI using beautiful Paragon assets. We'll learn how to use assets to create multiple enemy types which can be damaged and destroyed. We'll cover headshot damage with animated damage numbers that have different values and color for headshot detection. Enemy health bars, behavior trees and blackboard AI systems, patrolling, aggro and chasing the player, attacking, enemy stun and death mechanics. The enemy can damage and kill the player, weapons with weapon trails. We'll create explosives that can damage and kill the enemies. 
and we'll finally create our own level with level prototyping tools that make it easy to prototype level geometry and then we'll use professional assets to fill in that level geometry to make a complete professional looking level. And then we'll cover light baking and post-process effects to make our game look professional and production ready. This is the most comprehensive Unreal Engine C++ game development tutorial series that exists today. It's time to level up your game development skills and add a huge number of capabilities to your game development toolbox. I can't wait to see you on the other side.